Do you think it's better to transition into something new or just go all in and kind of burn the ships situation? I think that different people respond differently uh, to that situation. So for some, they have to go all in. They have to have a clear cut. I'm done with this career. I'm on to this one. No turning back, no safety nets, no contingency plans. And that's the way that, that they operate best. To me, like that's my favorite place to see someone in, like someone that has made that transition, like you just said, from the old self to the new work. Um, and, and someone with their back up against the wall, someone that has to make it work. I love when people have to make it work. So to me, when you're at the point of most risk is when you can typically make the most improvements because you gotta make it work. Like it has to work. I've got bills. I have to be able to pay these things. I have to be able uh, to have my house. I have to be able to have my car. Uh, that's the ultimate motivation that there ever is. If you can bottle that up and use it later on when you don't have to and still feel like you have to, man, that's, that's powerful. For others, they need that transition period. Uh, and usually this conversation is surrounding uh, some type of entrepreneurial venture. Uh, so, hey, I've, I've had kind of this side hustle, but I'm looking, should I go all in or should I transition over time and slowly have that side hustle become my full time business uh, for many people? Some people need to make that transition a little smoother by staying in their current career while they're working on the side hustle because they need to have that. They need they don't want to feel that jump as much. So they want to have some you know, stability with some income coming in while they're building up the other. And then when it makes sense, when it won't be as painful, then they can make that jump. There's always going to be fear. You're always going to have fear, especially if you're in a place where financially you aren't where your mind is yet. So maybe mentally you've made the transition, but it hasn't uh, translated into your bank account yet. Uh, man, you just have to be willing to overcome that very fragile but very short period of time to where your bank account catches up to where your mind is because i can promise you if you've made that transition your minds uh your mind is already there then your body and your bank account will follow um but you know if it is some type of side hustle uh one of my favorite uh people jim Rohn. i remember back in the day listening to one of his um cds over and over and over and it and he talked about the power of part time to be able to tell people. And this was kind of from an MLM perspective, a network marketing perspective, which is not something I'm involved in. Um, but he was talking about the power of part time being say, being able to say that, hey, I've got my full time job. And, and I think it was like I'm working on my career full time and my fortune part time. I think that was the phrase working on my full time career, my part time fortune. And even when it didn't make sense for him to have his full time career anymore, he still kept it just to be able to have the story of, hey, this little thing I'm doing on the side is generating this much income because it would create that buzz of like, oh, I want to I, I want to hear about that. I want to know more about that.